So if you're into whoop racing or you want to get the most out of your craft, a lot of times you need to get the most amount of current you can into your drone. And we've got something from Emacs, which is their new EM 2.0 connector, which I think is going to make a bit of a, a couple of waves when it comes to the whoop scene. So I'm going to put this on the screen. And these bad boys are basically designed as a new connector that is going to allow pilots to get the most out of their craft. So traditionally in the past, we've had some limitations when it comes to how much, how much you can get for your discharge, discharge rate, how efficient they are, how heavy things are. A lot of times people like XT30 on some larger crafts, but that is too big for a whoop. So if you're flying around with a whoop, it's going to be far too heavy to put that on. We did have a connector from beta flight, which was like the, is it the BT 2.0 or something like that, that is meant to solve a lot of those problems. However, it was an open source and it was really sort of a proprietary product uh, from beta FPV. What we've got here, this is Emacs's EM 2.0 connector and a bit of a shout out to them because they sent this out and it is basically an open source product that they say anybody can make this. Uh, it's out there for anybody to use. So if a competitor wants to make their own batteries with this connector, this is what they can do. And look, for a bit of light reading, they did send through, uh, this is gonna come up on the screen, a whole bunch of documentation and graphs and things like that. That's what that was all about. Um, I did go through this and we had some conversations back and back and forth, but the long and short of it is that they wanted a connector that everybody could use. They are a big believer in just getting people flying and having FPV, and they didn't keep it for themselves. And they said, look, we understand this is not in our best financial interest to make this open source to everybody. We've got a cool product here. And they thought, well, we're just gonna open it up. We love FPV. We want more people to get flying. So they put that connector out there. And Emacs has been a company for a long time. And I've met the owner of Emacs and a huge shout out to Bob that He's just a dude who loves flying. Like he genuinely enjoys these crafts and he wants to get keep people flying. And he's always had that mentality. And if you give Emacs any critical feedback, they are more than, they, they don't get their noses in, you know, all up in the air or anything like that. They're really good at just thinking, what is good for the hobby? What do we like? How can we get people, people flying? And I feel like my values really align with what Emacs does. Doesn't mean I like all their products all the time or anything like that. And a lot of times I feel like they're more suited at beginners. However, if you are a whoop racer, something like this might make a difference. It's probably not gonna be for everybody. And one of the limitations I see for this is like, when I hooked this up um, to here to test this out a little bit, that means I don't have the battery right here, but I not only had to cut the leads and put some new leads on here, forget the weight part, because this was just for testing. Um, but I also had to change it on my battery and then I had to make up a special balance uh, little charging cable as well because you can charge some of those other ones, but Emacs doesn't send, um, I guess, it's just a pain to change your entire fleet over there. Once the adoption is in and more parts come and more chargers are able to charge with those connectors, yes, it's going to be good. I think they do better than the other flights. Like I've got some flights here, let me get this on the screen. Just me cruising around with this battery connector. Could I notice a difference? So, you know, also probably exercising the dog. Um, just a little bit as well. And this battery was probably a little bit too big for this little drone um, that I was cruising around. But yeah, to have a connector that's open source, everybody can use. I think it will be the future of Whoop Races. It just needs to be taken by more companies. So if you can get it straight off the bat that you you don't have to redo your batteries, charges come with it straight off the bat that you don't have to make a special connector. Um, Kids are saying, uh, does the EM 2.0 support BT 2.0? I know the A30 was changed just enough to support the BT 2.0. Um, and it is also open source. So I actually can't answer that. Um, we can, these batteries right here, the EM 2.0, they can handle like a 20 amp burst or a, a 10 amp standard. They've got a whole bunch of stats here on the screen. So if you just go to Emacs, the, the BT 2.0 came out as a solution and it saw some adoption, but its exclusivity has limited its true solution for the entire hobby. Um, the XT30 is too large, and it looks like, in some of the stats as well, that it performs better than any of those. So they wanted to make a lightweight connector that was really efficient, that basically beat out the competition. They wanted the best plug they could for those tiny little micro racers, and then they wanted to make it open source. So I've got to say hats off to Emacs. If you're into Wii racing, this is kind of the way I would be going. I mean, if you're just doing everyday flying, it's going to be a pain to switch over your fleets and things like that. I mean, maybe for three bucks, you know definitely not expensive or anything like that. Uh, but, and it, it, I guess if you're enjoying what you're using, it doesn't matter too much, but if you want to get the most out of it, 
and I was heading to a whoop race and I wanted to win and I wanted every single advantage. But I still want to get those advantages. Like if I've got a choice between an advantage and not an advantage and it comes out of the box like that, please, please sign me up.